Resilient Adaptive Structures of Multifocal Asymmetric Shells. Introduction. Asymmetry of the forms of the shells of living nature is a complex manifestation of the asymmetry which include mechanical resistance to external and internal loads. Architectural bionics as a new school and the bionic method as its application in architecture the first formulated in the mid-1960s in the works of Russian architect and scientist Yuri Lebedev. The experience of nature is applicable to create asymmetric shells in the field of structural engineering and architecture. Asymmetric shells have many advantages of the symmetric ones. Geometric models of many asymmetric shells of living nature can be formed by multifocal plane curves rotating around the axis of symmetry. Such curves are described by algebraic equation of order 2 to the nth power, the n is the number of foci of the curves. Multifocal plane curves to derive the equation a parabola was taken. Each point of the parabola lies at an equal distance from a given point F and a given line L. The curve with two foci corresponds to a fourth order equation. Its real number solution gives the next formula. For different values of the coefficient beta, the equation describes a family of asymmetric curves. If the beta ratio changes from 0.75 to 0.8, 86, then a number of meridional sections of bird eggs fall into this range. A ratio from 0.75 to 0.80 corresponds to the shapes of chicken eggs. The surfaces formed by the rotation of the asymmetric curves around the big axis served as the basis for computer design and creation of physical models designs and experimental structures of asymmetric shells. Their main varieties were air-supported pneumatics structures and thin concrete shells with asymmetric pneumatic formworks. Load-bearing properties of natural shells a bird eggshell consists of seven layers. The first layer, the cuticle, is a strong outer layer with a thickness of 30 or 50 micrometers. Two woven layers of keratin filaments with a thickness of 80 or 100 micrometers. Other natural shells such as crab shells, scallop shell, etc. have a similar internal structure. They usually work not only in compression but also in bending and tension. Asymmetric complex shells with elastic frame. The results of the research served as the basis for experiments with models of complex structures. In these experiments Adaptive frame structures made in the form of complicated cyclic knots from elastic and closed roads simulated the bearing principle of the inner woven structures of eggshells. The structures assemble on a plane and then transform into a given spatial position. This technology makes it possible to create frameworks of shells in a shorter time and with less labor costs. The structures consist of elastic continuous rods of light metal alloys of fiber composites and have a minimum number of joints, only one in the extreme case. Due to this property, they have increased reliability and survivability. These structures have great 
adaptivity of their forms. In complex structures, a rigid outer covering, similar to the structure of arthropods shell, attaches to an elastic inner shell. The resultant structure is a multi-layer one and its outer shell is more rigid than the inner load-bearing core. Experiments with large-sized asymmetrical structures. Cyclic knots made of elastic material, CFRP, were subjected to tests of stretching and compressing. The additional stress allowed the structure to resist its deformations under its own weight and to maintain a given asymmetric shape. In the compression experiment, the initially symmetrical structure was transformed into a free focal elliptical shape, similar to the shell of a sea ocean. In addition, a cyclic knot of GFRP rod was subjected to dynamic testing in order to demonstrate the effect of resilience. Conclusion. Elastic complex structures consist of an elastic frame and a rigid coating that adapts to the frame. The rigid outer cover attached to the inner woven elastic shell forms a multi-layer structure similar to carapace of arthropods. The optimal asymmetric form of the structures, calculated according to the egg-shaped formula, makes it possible to design the outer carapace and the lobe as thin as possible. Thank you.